Normally, I would not deign to come to this planet myself. Negotiating with the Corporation on their homeworld places them in the position of power. Hardly ideal. But I am not merely here for business matters. My master wishes me to forge an alliance on his behalf. He has plans for this world, for the whole galaxy. And I will be the one to help him execute those plans. Greetings, Count Dooku. I am Representative Cap Clip of the Sorosub Corporation. We are so pleased that you could join us to continue the contract negotiations in person. As am I, Representative Clip. Yes, well, Sorosub has arranged a tour of the city for you before dinner. Allowances must be made for appearance's sake. I look forward to seeing your city. If all goes well, my representatives will be spending a great deal of time here. The Celestin must never suspect my true purpose. We are really quite proud of the feats of engineering that have allowed us to. Public spaces like this one have become a favorite spot for tourists and business travelers alike. Yes, I can see why. This grows intolerable. And I have other places that I must be. Ah, I'm afraid my travels have tired me more than I realized. If I might retire and rest before dinner. Oh, uh, of course. I should have realized. Master Dooku? It is you. A Jedi? Here? Although I guess it would be Count Dooku these days, wouldn't it? I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Master. Not yet a Master, Count Dooku. Just a Jedi Knight. My name is Jack Zinn. I doubt you would remember me. I haven't seen you since I was a youngling at the Jedi Temple, before you left the Order. But I'll never forget your dueling demonstrations with Master Yoda. Your skill with a lightsaber was simply inspirational. I also knew Master Qui-Gon before he- Master Jedi, if you would excuse us, the Count and I were- Representative Cap Clip, would it be possible to make room for one more at dinner? That is, if you are free to join us. It would be my honor, ma- uh, Count. Our business discussions. Can only benefit by having a Jedi Knight there to meditate. Of course, I shall make the arrangements. Now, let me show you to your accommodations. The presence of the Jedi could complicate matters, Lord Sidious. Do you know why he is here? I do not know of the Council's plans in this instance. For now, the Jedi still keep much of their business to themselves. Gain his trust. Discover what his mission on Solast is, and ensure he doesn't learn about the alliances you are there to build. And if there is a chance he could become an ally to our cause? A Sith Master needs only one apprentice. Unless you are suggesting that he replace you? Of course not, my master. I will do as you command. Forming a new order of Force users, is that really what the rumors say? It is probably the most common among the Jedi, yes? I'm afraid the reality is far less interesting than that. I'm merely looking after my family's business interests on Sereno. Exactly the life I would have led had I never joined the Jedi. A life most suited to you, Count. And what brings you so far into the Outer Rim, Jackson? Private business for the Council. You understand. Of course. Jackson, might I walk with you a bit? Of course. I could sense you were troubled at dinner. I'm sorry, I'll admit my mission here has me a bit uh, distracted. Pardon me for asking, but is this mission of yours 
particularly dangerous. I mean, they did send the Jedi for a reason, Count. Why do you ask? You'll forgive an old man his sentiment. You said earlier that you knew my apprentice, Master Qui-Gon Jinn. Of course, he was a great Jedi. And a great friend. When I heard the news of his death, I couldn't help but wonder. Had I remained with the Order, would he still have died? You can't blame yourself. Perhaps even the company of his Padawan wasn't enough to save him. But maybe his master would have been able to. I can't help but notice that whatever your mission, you face it alone. Forgive an old man for thinking that. Perhaps this time he could make a difference. Well, you were a Jedi Master once. There is some sort of criminal group that has been making inroads here on Sulust. They call themselves the Kaldana Syndicate. Sorosub has denied they are a problem. The very group my master asked me to seek out. However, enough reports have reached the Republic. That the Republic asked the Jedi for help, and thus you were dispatched. Yes. Ah, and that is why you were so hesitant to speak in front of the Sorosub representative at dinner. It's settled then. I will assist you with your investigation. That's not. My young Jedi, even if I weren't concerned for your safety, I do have a rather sizable financial investment on this world. Are you really going to turn down the help? Let me know if I'm going too fast. I'll be fine. I've tracked them to this location, but I haven't yet determined their numbers. Then let us go and ask. Thank you. It's a good thing I came along. It's not your time to die, Jedi. Not yet. I can sense... Stay behind me. That does seem the best course of action. Oh, no. What is it? They're dealing in weapons. Drop the lightsaber. We're surrounded, aren't we? For the moment. But I don't believe the moment will last. What? Kill them! Quickly! That lightsaber, it's... Where did you get that? I made it, of course. Pity. I have come to discuss a business arrangement with your organization. Or what remains of it. Who... Who are you? I am but an agent of your new master. I trust that you understand me. Yes. Yes, we do. Good. It might not seem like much. A gang of weapons dealers here. A group of pirates there. I trust that our accommodations were to your liking during your stay with us? Your hospitality was most gracious, and Sorosub's offer during the contract negotiations even more so. But as unrest and chaos spread across an already corrupt republic, it will be that much easier for the Sith to grasp power. That is wonderful to hear. We look forward to doing business with Sereno for many more years. Soon, the galaxy will be what we make of it. When the time is right. <laughs> <laughs>